For me, private foundations are grant-giving organizations which have a board of trustees or directors who make the decision on awarding funding based on the written request. In some cases, the trustees may also be another organization or an administrator, such as a legal or an accounting firm. The organization will be registered with official registries for companies and charities. Here in the UK, that's the Companies House, the Charity Commission for England and Wales, or the Charity Commission for Northern Ireland, or the Office of the Scottish Charity Regulator, or a, a, a combination thereof. In North America, charities are often registered with federal tax agencies, and this may be the case in other, in other countries around the world. There are corporate foundations, which are different or additional to the company's CSR department, family foundations, foundations set up by a single individual or founded from a gift left in a will. They may also include those registered foundations which are funder-led private equity funds. And whilst there are some commonalities, as Carol Mack of the Association of Charitable Foundations says, when you've met one foundation, you've met one foundation. So whilst the details may change, there will be some similarities in the causes they support, their processes and their guidelines. And that similarity is where we can make some shortcuts as we're doing applications. Kill two birds with one stone, stone so to speak. If you approach foundations with a healthy dose of common sense, you'll be on the right path. If you can, determine what the foundation considers common sense for them. Based on what information they are asking for, their deadlines, what they've given previously, and what information they have put into the public domain. You're applying to a trust, an individual trust. You're not applying to the same, the same group of individuals in the same way that you would a direct mail campaign where consistency in the message is a good idea.